and Dusty, mayor, and uh, they're here in near Estevan, Saskatchewan. Yep, we're uh, Frobisher. Frobisher, are, yeah. and they got a really neat setup going on here. It's kind of what we're all about is making do with what you got, right? Yep. yep. And making do with for less. Not just making do, but actually thriving and getting the crop in and having the performance you need and getting the max yield, all that stuff. And they got some really cool stuff you're going to want to see, so make sure you stick around. We're going to check out their current setup in the yard that they're not using right now, but then they've got one running in the field right over there. Two New Holland carts yep, hooked yep. up to a 80 foot seed master. That one's 60 a 60 foot. 60 foot. Yep. Don't want to go too big. <laughs> but check this out. We got a 2230 cart and you guys are powering it kind of like the old Concords with a with an engine. Yeah, it's our version of the 690. There you go. <laughs> it's a 690 Honda. And the reason for this, like we were just talking was so you have the capacity, but you just swap carts for yeah. the seed. This was your seed cart in the back. Yeah, seed carts in the back. We used to have the other 2320 on behind this one. And so you'd get about 50 to 60 acres per seed cart instead of stopping to fill, just swap your primary hoses. Yep. You'd have another 50, 60 acres of seed again so you could run your furt out and then fill. Oh. So 1060, a P1060 New Holland cart. You guys run it as a double shoot or single? Single shoot. Single shoot? Yep. And the capacity yeah, so on that one, is a 430? Yeah. A 430 there? 430s. So this one we run a blend in the front, blend in the back, and then phosphate right in the middle. And then for the toe behind, it'll be seed in the front, seed in the back, and phosphate in the middle. Okay. And they're all single shoot, both carts, kind of like. Yeah. Hi, Stan. How's it going? Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. I think we met at the KMOT show, right? Yes. In Minot. Yeah, yeah. That's when we first met. Now it's all coming back to me. You guys are having issues with, the, you're, uh, you're like, if, if we got to get this figured out. I remember there was like kind of like a, a moment where I'm going, oh crud, your operation depends on me. You know, if I got to get this hydraulic drive, you yeah, know, to we work. Were, we were down all last year yeah. with this drill and because uh, of the hydraulic drive systems, like the new hole and stuff, they couldn't make it parts for some of it. Yeah. Didn't access any. So then I've been watching stuff on YouTube and this looked like an option. Yeah. Watching just like you guys are. It's uh, yeah. working pretty good. So it is working. Yep. So it went from a plea of help to help to we got it to work, even though I was yeah. like good thing Jesse was on the on the support here. How does it look back here, Russell? Okay, muddy. You're gonna clear off all those wheels? <laughs> all right, we'll come back and check your progress. So here's our P1060, right? But it's a tow behind. Yeah. yeah. Dry rate controller. These are actually the most economical that we found. They're only like two grand instead of yeah. Raven's like five grand or something. And then here's our version two hydraulic drive, I believe, that we just updated release this, this spring. Full stainless steel. Back here. Yeah, you guys did good work. Yeah, and this is that better uh, speed sensor. Yeah. So it's gonna know if it's barely moving or not moving or. Yeah, it seems like it's working like really well. Mm -hmm. You can actually see like watching on the monitor, watching your race and stuff. And like the other carts, you can see them fluctuate. Now they're like, they stay where they're supposed to be. Yeah. Although the front tow between cart doesn't have stainless yet run it as long as you can of course but it's got the hydraulic drive so he's running six tanks off the hydraulic drive two ray controllers really neat setup a lot of options you could have six products or you could have the same product in multiple tanks so that means you have if i can do my math 860 bushel capacity yep. nice that's as big as a c850 cart yep. you don't need a c850 right <laughs> they're only a million bucks yeah. whatever they are <laughs> 
Well, we're here. We're here with uh, Brody Mayer, Mayer Farms. They've uh, done something unique, putting two carts together on a on a rig and running them all hydraulic drive. So we got six tanks running hydraulic drive. John Deere rake controllers. They've got the the John Deere tractor here, so that makes it easy just to yeah, all get integrated. the display. It's all integrated, even though the carts are different color. It's acting like it's controlled all by. It's like a John Deere cart, yeah. essentially. Gen 5 John Deere monitor, which is tied with the ray controllers on both carts. So we got the got it set up so it's a toe between, labeled the toe between front for the P1060. And then this one is the toe behind P1060 here. So we can see them both on the same page, the carts kind of thing. So when you mm -hmm. hit your foot switch, see your master comes on while we're seeing. So this is my set rates for each tank. And then this is what's actually getting put on while we're going. I'm going to turn the master off. You can see it off there now. You'll see your, I have my fan set range for the mm -hmm. product. And then that's my actual fan speed when we're going. It'll show up even just at us, like we're sitting still. And then we can turn whatever tank we want to turn on or off. These little check marks. I just have tank three is empty right now, so I have it turned off and just running the full rate out of tank one at the moment. And then if we ever want to switch that, we can go into our pounds an acre and we have three different rates for each tank. Uh, because these are wheat, I have my wheat rates already set, so I can do this is what it's supposed to be when I'm doing the tank split for the percentages on tank one and two for 140 pounds. And then because we're running off only tank one, I got also 140. So I just have it set at 140 right now. Yeah. Yep, so this is the front cart or cart one, toe between, and then the second cart, toe behind cart right here. And there's your tank gauges. We don't have the tank gauges in the carts right now. We're just running off the monitor system. So we got this seed cart here and the fertilizer cart here. I don't know if I can pick that up. Oh, there we go. And then, uh, so you're, you can, we don't have tank gauges in the tanks, but you can just click on, I'll just click on number three for right now. Click on tank three's gauge. When you fill it, if you, once you've set up your product mm -hmm. and the carts, bushels are already known, like it's all set up in the implement setup. So it'll tell you, we can click on this for fertilizer. I can have 10,881 pounds in that tank. So when we fill, we just click in the number of the weight. So we okay. fill that we'll click 10, 8, 81. I'll press OK. And then that'll show, I can do that right now. I'll just put in zero after. Hit accept. And now it'll say that tank's full. Oh, okay. So, so it goes it. and it comes down mathematically with your meter spinning and telling how many your rates. So if I was putting on, say, 140 pounds of that tank, it'll come down each time that uh, meter nice. rolls. So it'll drop it that way. Okay. Using the computer's system. New harnesses. You get the new controller that plugs into them. The hydraulic motors, the PWM valves, the mounts, all that stuff. The sensors. Yeah. You get it all. It's all fresh. Went together pretty good. Yeah. Good. And then if you need it, stainless steel too. Yep. So ready is your stop. If you need to get your cart updated, your drill updated, and you got a blockage system, I see. Yeah. That's... Yeah. I guess the mics are playing with the signal right now. <laughs> it would yeah, work. It works really good, actually. It's gonna work once we get off the uh, the filming here because yeah. my <laughs> my mics are my mics are interrupting the signal. But uh, that that's is that worth it? Is that oh, system yeah. worth it? Yeah, actually, we can tell this by even like these. We're gonna update the camera to an HD setup so we can see better mm -hmm. once it gets that low or whatever. But last night, Dad was able to tell when he was running on the seed because the seed counts. You can tell by the seed count started beeping out, yeah, like, yeah, it's, it's worth it. Yeah.
system yeah. up and running. Yeah. We're gonna test it. Oh, we got one. Let's go find that plugged run. Just like that, the blockage system caught this blocked run. And now we know we're gonna unplug it and we can finish seeing the field without having issues. Transmission filter fault. Now we're trying to figure out if it's a wiring issue. This huge rig, everything was working fine. Made two passes and now it's shut down. How often do you guys experience this? This is insane. The weather's nice, now we can seed. We got all the bugs worked out on the hydraulic drive. And now the tractor, newer tractor, is acting up. So we'll get a new sensor 13 miles away and yep. Put it in. hopefully be up and running again. This one right here. That little guy was holding up the whole show. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that's all it was. It doesn't matter how much it costs when it's keeping you from seating. Yeah, it's, it's, you just go around it. You gotta go. Thanks to these guys. We just had a nice meal. You brought us some good food. You're a good cook. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get out of here. We gotta get back to Fargo and and uh, spend some time with our family. Go back to work tomorrow. All right. God bless. Thanks for watching. See you next time. You do more than farming, huh? Yep. Farming through the day, work on the car at night. Wow. <laughs> That's a nice car. How much of this do you do yourself? Oh, last year we built the whole body yourself, me and Brody. Wow. And, uh, build mechanical work yourselves. So performance farmers and performance race car drivers. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very cool.